Jenny, can you tell us about the size of the aircraft leasing industry here in Ireland, please? Yes, so Ireland is a world leader in the aircraft leasing industry along with the US, with 50% of the world's leased aircraft operating out of Ireland. And indeed, industry sources suggest that an Irish leased aircraft takes off once every two seconds somewhere across the globe. We have over 30 aircraft leasing companies that are operating here, and we estimate a book value in excess of 81 billion in 2014. And what's bringing those companies to Ireland? So the foundation of the industry can be traced back to Guinness Peat Aviation in 1975, and since then the industry has grown quite significantly. And there are a number of reasons and factors for this. Firstly, we've got a very skilled workforce with a lot of expertise and commercial experience in the area. We have a low corporate tax rate and a write-off depreciation period of eight years. And finally then, under Section 110 of the Finance Act 2011, aircraft and aircraft engines are now designated as qualifying assets. And this provides the opportunity for new entrants into the market to establish aircraft finance special purpose vehicles. But what contributions do these aircraft leasing companies actually make to the Irish economy? Yes, so it generates a certain degree of employment and tax revenues. Recent estimates suggest that 1,200 people are employed in the industry directly, while the tax contribution in recent years was 300 million, but we would believe that this figure has increased in the last number of years. Now, some of these companies had an impact on the national statistics last year. So the size of the industry, um, it does have the capacity to have a significant impact on the Irish statistics. However, it was not one of the main reasons for the revisions that we saw in the summer of 2016. Nevertheless, we can endeavour to look at a number of metrics that can be used to see how aircraft leasing impacts our statistics. So firstly, we can look at the operating leasing income exports, and this increased by 2.4 billion between 2014 and 2015. And in a normal year, this would be quite significant in that it could contribute 1% of GDP. Another factor then to look at is the imports of aircraft into Ireland, which increases our capital stock and then ultimately capital formation. And this increased by 1.4 billion between Q3 2015 and Q3 2016. It's important to bear in mind though that this figure does include all activity related to aircrafts. Can you tell us what kind of a risk the aircraft leasing industry poses potentially to the Irish economy then? Yes, so the paper here has seen, we see that the industry is very strong and very resilient and it has strong growth prospects for the future. However, it is a very globalised industry and with that there can be potential risks. There could be potential headwinds from a slowdown in emerging markets. We could see competition from other European countries and then finally we could see changes to international um, accountancy and regulatory standards.